Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing on Queen's Wish 2, The Tormentor, and we are in the Common Catacombs, and we are here to beat some crap out of some ghosts so that we can, so that they can put their honored person to rest here, because the ghosts won't let them. Uh, who do I need to speak to? I think this one here. Let, let me get up there. We tried sp speaking to him before, but we didn't have this quest, so here we go. Um... So the low dangies all watch you quietly. Master Sutter stands before you waiting. So what brings you to this crypt? The leader of our clan has fallen. He holds up the urn. We will not go until he is left with honor. You wait for him to elaborate. He doesn't. You seem to be in distress. We are, but it's a private business for the Roka. Why am Princess Corinna of Haven and Trader Darmel asked for my help? That gets everyone's attention. You are? I apologize, Princess. I should have given you better welcome. I greet you in the name of my clan. It is an honor to meet you. I am Master Sutter, after all. Sutter? You are named after your older brother, yes. Oh, I wondered about that when I first ran across this. His name, it, I thought about my brother. Your older brother, yes. When your father, a role of the Lodangi, had his first son, I was born soon after. I was named in honor of your great fortune. Now we meet in a dark chaotic time. We are comforted by the presence of one with the blood of the roe. Hmm. So you're from the Lodangi. We are a harsh dry land, but a blessing compared to this icy peak. It was a long journey to get here. Hard travel problems. Hard travel problems and the women. Hard travel problems with the women. Now we are trapped here until our purpose is completed. Problems with the women? That's right. You guys treat your women bad. You had problems with the women? The Lodangay protect their women. Taking them on a journey like this was a great risk, yet they would not miss this final barrier of our old master. We tried to deny them, but they were very insistent. You look at the women in the corner, guarded by the Dangay warriors. They meet your gaze without fear. So how long have you been here? Weeks. We gave up this we gave, we give up this hall when others need cremation and then we return to our vigil we will not give up until we have our right so you can't just go home and return when things are calmer no even if we cared to repeat the journey leaving our chief here is our right we will not back down from it if we have to live our lives here okay so what is this crap these are the common catacombs all uh, all honorable role may have their ashes placed here for a time if their claim if the clan is willing and able to make the journey we have already cremated our ma master he holds up the jar normally we would we would long have been got back in our nice hot hill hills weeks ago and our clan master would be resting here on this on the normal path so what is the normal path his ashes would be in one of the pileups that surround us. He was a full master, so that is his right. Otherwise, the ashes would be in the catacombs below. Then, when all who remembered him in the in life have died, he would be taken to the final end to make room for new urns. The final end. I believe that the keepers of the crept of a very deep pit just below our feet. It contains the ashes of centuries a row. A bit harsh, perhaps, but we are a very practical people. Hmm. So what is the problem? So, in other words, they put them there, they put the urns here as an honor, and then after time, they get dumped into one big pit together. <laughs> but who cares? It's just ashes. They're already moved on, so it really doesn't mean anything. So what is the problem exactly? Normally, we would have only one more thing to do. We would take our old master's ashes and put them in one of the traditional urns of this of the catacombs. He nods toward the, the row of empty jars by the north wall. That is all I need to do. Pour the ashes into one of them. So, yeah. Master Sutter walks to a jar. The other low dangies kneel and begin a ceremonial chant. It's a quiet display. They've tried this dozen of times over the last few weeks. As Sutter begins to pour the ashes, the ground jerks under your feet. The largest jar tips over. Then you hear a roaring voice coming out of the air. Your master traitor will... Your master traded with the Havanites. 
He built walls for the tormentors who enslave us. His ashes are rejected. He will not rest in honor until the princess you grovel to is challenged by us. The voice fades. Hmm. And that's exactly what I said. Hmm. Master Sutter says, well, that was different. We haven't had actual speech before. Just shaking and howling now. He accused our old master of being a traitor. Intolerable. That spirit has no right. Yet, he looks at you. It wants to challenge you. It rejects our master because we helped you. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure that this is my problem. Yeah, it is. It is my problem. Well, I better go downstairs and see what the trouble is. What the hell is going on? The Roka nod with approval. Master Sutter stands up straight. We are tormented because we helped you. We appreciate your aid in return. Some of the corrupt workers slip off. Soon you hear a gate open to the southeast. If, if you help, you will receive a bounty. The role will know of this honorable act. Good luck to you. He turns away to comfort his grieving family. Hmm. Want to try to put the dust in the jar again? No, it won't work. He shakes his head. The Roka are tough. It is true. But there are too many times a day I can subject my family to the rage of the dead. Even even we have limits. Okay, yeah, I figured that wouldn't work. Okay, so this is where... Which gate opened? This gate opened. Okay. But yet there's a gate here too. So we know we're coming up. We're going down one set of stairs and coming up another. All right, here we go. Into the catacombs. Boop. Water dripping. At the bottom of the stairs, you find the entrance to the catacombs. The remains of the dead, who are less important or more forgotten, are brought into these cold, damp tunnels. None of the crept workers have been down here for a while. The deathly still... It is deathly still, and the smell of rot hangs in the air. Considering that all of the dead here have been cremated, that odor is worrying. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. If they're cremated, how can they rot? As you look around, a gate in the corridor to the west rattles noisily. The gate behind you guards your only escape route. If it closes, you will be trapped down here with the dead. Okay, so in other words, do a hard save. Do a hard save! Yes. Okay. Of course, they close the gate. With a deafening clank, the gate behind you slams to the ground. Your ears ring. As you start to wonder how long you'll be trapped down here, a gate to the west opens. You have been trapped in the dead await. Okay, so there's several gates here. Lots of gates, I see that. Hmm. Do any of them open other than to attack us, probably? Okay. You enter the catacombs. These are natural caverns, barely modified in the centuries this crypt has been in operation. You are definitely not alone down here. Moaning creatures shuffle aimlessly down the passages. The smell of rot is stronger, but of course it is. Yep, of course it is! Okay, we got a, a zombie right there. And we got a zombie up there. And... Let's see here. You're 160. Wow. Okay, you guys got more health to you now. Can you be bled? Since you're dead, I wouldn't think so, but it looks like they can be... Oh, no, 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 they can't be. Um, But I bet you can be weakened. Mm. Yep, you can be weakened. And... Now you're vulnerable. Okay, 
too. Your blow blasts the zombie backwards. It crumbles to the ground. Then as you watch, with horror and fascination, its bits start to reform. You chop them up. They start to reform again. This fellow will soon be back to torment you. Some powerful force nearby is forcing it to remain in on life. Okay. So, I have to get rid of the... Okay. I gotta find out where it's at then. A fresh zombie lurches towards you. It swings one of the vicious scrooges, scrudges of the Hyletta. You wonder where the body came from. Normally, only ashes and bones are brought down here. So, I wonder how long they stay like this. Hmm. I better do this then. Some blessings. And... And you missed, really. Oh, not you. Not that. This. That's me. Okay, so now he's... So in other words... You have to do this fast. Okay, so he's turned. Okay, so he's turned. All right, let's get down here. Get this stuff while we can. And this is a two-handed weapon. Oh yeah, I knew it. Okay, so this is just going to be constant fighting. <laughs> um, hmm, interesting. Where am I at? There I am. Okay. That one turn. Okay. Basically, it's just trying to figure out where it's at, right? That's what we're trying to do, is figure out where it's at. and stay alive in the process. You should turn. Okay. Oop, noop, 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 noop. Yeah. 
And then once they come back, it looks like they're healed then. Hmm. You are up there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope. They always change these games around, don't they? <laughs> oh, now I wish she had teleport. <laughs> I do. Now I wish she had teleport. Um, because I got her in a bad position here. Yep, she's gonna die. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. No, no. Okay. So let's go this way. This is interesting. I might have to come back to this. I'm a little bit better. So what? I am at level what? I am at level 12. They're a level 11, but they keep coming back. I can't kill them. Hmm. There again, like I said, it's all about um, finding where that evil is at. Okay, let's heal her. We know it's not up here. I'm pretty sure of it. It's going to be up over here, I bet. Come on. Oh, of course. See, as soon as you get one done, Yep. Wow. Okay, so I'm stunned. Hmm. Wow. Because I know there's a whole bunch more up here, too. I wonder how big this actually is. This map. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to save this. I have to think about this one. Yeah, okay, so that's a little bit different. Um, be different if I was like a level 13 even, probably. Wanted to get that done, but that's fine. It's on my map. Okay, so we wanted to go. What's the closest place to get to to get over here? That's probably. This is straight across from it, more or less. This can't go anywhere because this is on what side? Yeah, I think I need to come here and go across. Here, the map is over here. There we go. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? I I was ahead of myself. There's a large band of fierce Cranus warriors guarding the entrance to their province. Some wait in the watchtowers, others guard the road. All of them watch si alertly for the raiders from the Lodangi, their most frequent attackers. They are friendly once they recognize you. They offer you a spot by their fire to rest on your journey. 
Okay. Any rest recent events I should know about? Only your arrival. We know that the Lodangi. Okay, goodbye. The poor sister. They've already been all there. Okay. Where was where was I at? Okay. So this has all been. All right, here we go. Into new territory. Yes, new territory. The pilgrimage road. As you climb to the east, the grass starts to die off, the air grows hot and dry, and the grass is reduced to thin patches, which then disappear. Leapy trees are all behind you, replaced by palm trees and hardy cacti. Huge stone pillars line the road. They loom far over your head. At first you thought they were natural. At first you thought they were natural. Closer inspection reveals them to be made by humans, massive, intimidating works of sculpture. You are entering the Lodangi, one of the four provinces of the Roca, a land of dry hills, dusty quarries, and skilled stoneworkers, also a land of violent insular clans, and some of the most industrious raiders of the Empire of Haven has to offer. Yeah, they do love to raid. All right, so we're going to be wandering around here. You enter the Lodangi for the first time. It is one of the four provinces of the Roca. Yeah, we already know that. A wild land full of warring clans and roving raiders. It is also where your father, con consort Darmel, was born. Your family's closest links to the Ro are, are all here. The Lodangi sits in a deep valley between high mountain ranges to the north and south. It is sheltered from any moisture that would blow in from the sea, leaving a dry, sandy expanse of hills. This land maintain, alternates between searing heat and icy cold, scoured by constant winds. Hills rise above you in all directions. The low dangies are incredibly skilled at stealth. A hundred warriors could be watching you now, and, you, and you'd have no clue. Your mother sent you here on a mission. Judge Haven's governor, and hear the petitions of their rasa. You can see the city of... Azrin in the distance to the east. Your work c can begin there. Blah, blah, blah. It all depends on what direction I went when I walked into the... Yeah, but uh, anyway. There are multiple watchtowers at the entrance to the Lodangi. This province has a long history of raiding the rest of the Roca, and the Rol send plenty of expeditions in expeditions in return. This main road into the hill country is heavily guarded. A group of guards stands and approaches you. They want to talk. No weapons are drawn. Talk to them. When the dangy warriors get close enough to see that you are a Havenite, they relax. They are willing to fight, but they'd prefer not to, at least today. A guard says, Welcome, Havenite. This is the low dangy. It is not a safe time. Raiders and cobwebs roam the hills. Azan is not far to the east. It is an island of safety, but you should stay close to the road. Oh, we apologize, but we are ordered to ask. Do you have permission to travel the pilgrimage road? Yep, yep, I do. Thank you. I am forced to ask. You also could have lied. See, and that's that's true. I, I've been saying that from the beginning. So tell me about the raiders. The hills became very dangerous a few weeks before you were attacked, Princess wolves and brigands in numbers. They have been timid so far, but they get bolder by the day. We wish we could hunt them down, but we are trapped here. The roll nod. So what is nearby? The city of Azen is not far to the east. You can learn much there. You probably want Fort Precipice. Precipice. Your fort. It is on the other side of the river from Azen. Well, I'll be going now. They give you respectful bows. You march off into the wind and sand. There is a large clan of Lodangi camped around the base. Being this close to the main road, they are used to visitors. They invite you in for tea and attempt to sell you produce and small handmade trinkets. They are very polite, which is to be expected when being visited by royalty. As time passes, you realize that some of the affection might be genuine. They have heard good things about you. When you depart, they are almost sad. Good. Good. Uh oh, something's wandering around out here. Who are you peoples? Nothing? Nobody? Okay, just people wandering. Let's see, let's see what's hidden down here, because you know there's going to be something down here. 
Uh-oh. We got scorpions! Yep, scorpions. Of course, that's what you're going to find in the desert, right? Okay, what are your health points? Um, 80. Not bad. We're not even going to get close to you here, so we're just going to bleed you. You evaded, though. You evaded, really? Maybe you better do this. And let me see. Can you poison? Stun resist 20%. I think. How many can I get in a poison? Mm, three of them. Okay, that'll work. And you're just going to go up here and boom. There you go. Better not have poisoned him. Better not have poisoned him. Uh, let's get one of these back here. Okay. That's me. Okay, you died. Now he is poisoned. All right. Um. Let's get. Okay, I took out two. You're done. You should die next. And you are next. Good. Okay, so let's heal him. And then we're done. Okay. What's well, down here? Can we get up here? Oh, we can. You find a small supply catch half buried in the sand near the riverbank. It was probably left here by raiders, a big sandy pile of stolen goods. Most of the boxes contain tools and supplies, nothing you don't already have plenty of. In one of the boxes, among some iron bars, you find an ingot of a strange silvery metal. Seems worth keeping. Really? Deep metal. Oh, it's a crafting resource. Okay. Hmm, so what's over there? We shall find out. Is this one of the towns? Am I getting close to it? Yeah, it is. This is Azen. I wanted to explore around it first before we get into it. Oh, I got, I didn't mean to get into it already. But anyway, it's on my, it's on my thing now. Um, no deficits. All right. Okay. That's what I was worried about. 54, 38. Okay. Who are you? Uh oh, we got something going on over here. You have found a sporting arena. Oh, another one of these. It is a build of gravel with four stone pillars in the corners. The Roca have been playing some sort of game here for a very long time. Two teams of four are here right now. When you came into view, they were running around and shouting. As soon as they see you, they stop and stare. I know they're not going to play. Yeah, um, you wait for them to start playing again. They do not. They just stare you, so I'll approach them. So when you get close, one team walks off. The other one... Sh okay, so we've been all through this. Um... Play the game. Play the game. I will play. Yes, Brave Haven, come into the field. Come and play. You set aside your weapons and more metallic pieces of armor and join them in the field. They kindly hand you the cow skin ball. It feels like a bleh, bowl of rocks. Ready? Yep, play the game. In an instant, the four roll rush towards you, howling with fury. In a moment, with a long practice motion, they knock the ball out of your hand. Bite them for the ball. This game, you divide your efforts. Sometimes you brawl the other players. Other times you grab for the ball and make for the pillars. Bleeding and bruised, you touch the ball to one of the pillars. As you savor the triumph, the other players leap on you, punching and biting. One of them grabs the ball and runs to touch it to the other three pillars. They start to cheer. Oh, so that's how you win. The players grant you a brief bow. Hmm... It runs to touch it to the other three pillars. 
bleeding and bruised, you touch the ball to one of the pillars, which is what I thought they did. Just after the triumph, of the other players leap on you, punching and biting. One of them grabs the ball and runs to touch it to the other three pillars. But that's not what they did the, the other times. They didn't, they only touched one of the pillars. Hmm. Ball back. Let's play again. This earns a laugh from the other players. No, enough pillars. It is a game for the players. Player of enough, but they smile once more and walk off in the wilds. Okay. Damn it. I'm gonna win it yet. I'm gonna win it yet. Who are you? At first, you think this couple of warriors is wandering the waste looking for raiders. They look like soldiers, though it is a bit warm for them to be wearing those helmets. When you get close, they begin screeching incoherently. Then they rip off their helmets, revealing the faces of call wolves. They mindlessly charge. <laughs> ah, call wolves. Call wolves. Okay. Um. Let me just go ahead and leave you at the beginning here because you're going to attack us. Same with you. Uh, do you really need to... Maybe not. Crit, a nice crit. Okay. Cool, you just put yourself all in range there for... Okay, she might have to step up a little bit here. Can we get all? No. But we can get four of them. One will die. Okay. Mm. I think I'm going to go ahead and get you bleeding. Get you bleeding too. Oh, you're almost dead. So we'll just take you out. There you go. And... Hmm. That'll work. Take you out. Bye, Woobies. Cleaner. It says right there, I just looked. You're a plinger. The call whoops were wearing tethered clothing and armor, looted from battlefields and fallen soldiers. You stand, you find some coins in the pockets. Do I want them though? Hmm. So it's up here. There is a home here, though. Shall we talk to this homeowner? You find the hall of the large Dangi clan. They have laid claim to a small base, base o oasis, and they make their living off of a quarry in a small p patch of farmable land. When you come close, they launch into a well-practiced drill. The women working in the fields are rushed indoors. Men and two boys run outside with bows and line up behind a, roll st a low stone fence. If you're ready to fight before you even get close, you decide to turn back and leave them alone. Sorry, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bother you. Just being nosy. Just being nosy. Aha, uh -huh, what's down here? There is a cape at the end of this valley. Refuse and old gnawed bones litter the ground outside. This cave has provided a lair for wandering beasts for centuries, a tempting trap where they can be found by Roko hunters. Three young dragon, dragonian warriors are right, hiding behind a boulder out, outside, staring at the cave. They are pretty green, for for example, they have no idea you, that you are here. Pfft. Hi. They jump out of their skins when you speak. They gather their weapons and regain their composure, giving you time to see how inexperienced they are. They don't have any idea who you are, they just see the impressive arms and armor. The boldest, the boldest of the two says, We're hunting glory, yes? Want to join in it? 
Good prey in the cave. Hunting glory? You not roll? Roll warriors hunt. We face danger. It's hunting glory. Proving we can be proper defenders of the clan. A young warrior shouts unwisely. And raiders! Doesn't getting help reduce the glory? They look entirely confused, apparently, in the roll. This is not part of the c calculation. So what's in the cave? They look at each other in a way that is almost cunning. Oh, just some scorpions. Mm, sure, I could use some more glory. The eager young men don't give you time to change your mind. They run in, out into the open and start shouting, drawing their prey out of the cave. They did not lie. What emerges are scorpions, perhaps a bit larger than you expected. <laughs> okay. Are they here? They are here with us. Okay, they are big. All right, so they are big. Let's see here. Um, yeah, not too formidable. Mental curse done. All right, so this is her. Mm, let's just do this for now. All right, you're going to do lesson on everybody. That's him. He's going to do... Nice. Confusion. That's me. I can do knockback. Oh, what? I went after the wrong one. Ugh. Okay, that's you. Um, which one has the most damage? This one. Okay, S30. Let's go after this one now, get rid of it. Yep, we did. Okay. Can we finish it off this time? No, nope, we didn't. The scorpions have been slain. The warriors bandage up their wounds, take some supplies, and head home. They are thrilled beyond words. The massive stingers they carry will buy them a lot of status. They wisely leave you the cave to search for loot. In the trash inside, you find a handful of coins and a bar of unusual metal. So I found deep metal. Okay. All right. Um, how far up does this go? This goes up quite a ways. That just keeps going and going. Mm. I suppose I should get my fort first. All right? Where am I at? Here we are. Let me get to... If I can cross over. Here we go. What's down here? You are close to Fort Precip Precipice, one of Haven's forts in the Lodangi. As you get closer, you feel safer. Haven's forts are considered Haven land, and even the most crazed raider will think three times before trespassing here. Then again, the raiders of the row are mad enough to strike you, attack you personally, and many of those raids, if not all, came from the Lodangi. Caution is still wise. The fort looks ne neglected, which is the usual state of affairs for Haven's forts and the Roca. It will be interesting to hear the excuses the chief here comes up with. Yep. Excuses all right. Okay, let's take a look around. You enter Fort Precipice, Haven's southern fort in the Lodangi. It is in the state of dis it is in this state of disrepair you have sadly come to expect. There are no there are no smithies 
No trading posts. The walls need repair. There are people here. A few guards practice in the parade ground. Danganian men have come from their clans to do business. Everyone is quiet and nervous. They look around constantly, awaiting a raid at any moment. Since the raiders who tried to kill you probably entered the gentle coast for this reason, their fear is understandable. It will take a lot of work to get this fort ready for the conflict that may be coming. This fort is now under your control. You have access to its resources and you can rebuild its buildings and shops. Also, you can now recruit Lodangi warriors in the end in the edit party window. Yes, which is something I wanted to do. Okay. All right. So, just wandering around here. It takes me out. Is this the only, is this the, yep, it's clear over here. Anyone have a name? I sometimes get lazy and forget to look for people that are running around outside here that might have names. But sometimes they do. And then they'll have a quest and then I'll miss it and... These don't. They're just townspeople. Just. Okay, so we do have a guard tower. We have two guard towers. Hmm, interesting. Uh, for a guard, for a guard. So, let us go ahead. Oh, I forgot I leveled up again. Yes, I did. I totally forgot. So, cultural. I can do... Alright, I think I need to... Causes nearby enemies to be less likely to be angry at or target you. Do I want to waste one on that? Or do I want to redo... Um... Bunch and Senseless is pretty cool, so I think I will give her that. Um, Bunch and Senseless. Oh, what was that other one? Shockwave. Why do you have Shockwave? Danger and stuns enemies. Any? Why do I have Shockwave? Wait a minute here. Did I? Is that something I learned? I shouldn't have shockwave. I see wind. It's not even. I don't have anything marked on here. Why would she have shockwave? Well, that seems odd. Damages and stuns enemies in a clone shaped area. Why? I don't even know why she has it. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, then you. So this would do. Please attack with your weapons. Melee will we'll do 25 extra damage and will make your foe vulnerable. Um. Removes a. With six turns of blessings, that isn't for something that terror is terrifying. Scream terrifies all enemies near you, causing them to flee. Mm, we'll give that to him. We'll try it. Um, where is it at? Right there. And you, I was going to give you magic. I wanted to give you magic. Offers 20 minutes bonus to all afflictions you cause and... Okay, so if I do that... Can she now...
wear this. She can. It's the same. Oh, it's a little bit better. Okay. But now she can go on... What is it I was trying to do for her? I was trying to give her... Um... What was I trying to do? I was trying to give her a... A wand. She'll get one. She'll get one. Now that I can do that. Okay. Unless I had one in another bag. No. Okay. And you, your magic. So we don't see see shockwave. She, how come she? Uh, I don't get it. I don't get how she got shockwave. Souls enemies in a circular area. They will act less often in combat. That might not be a bad thing to have. We'll try it. Okay. So this is the guard tower. Is there anyone here? No oh, podium. Oh, let's just get into the other room. The rulers of Haven. Haven's ruler is Queen Sharon III. She has ruled for over 30 years, bringing rewards to allies and punishment to foes with equal competence. However, she is beginning to age, and more attention has been paid to her three children. Her oldest child is Sutter, first in line for the throne. Happily, he seems well suited to be king. Cheerful, well liked, bright, and energetic, he is fully ready to ascend to the throne and expand Haven's power and influence. Um, first remain in seclusion, let us know. Okay, this is all, that was a repeat of what we'd already seen. This is quite big. Is this my room? It is. Okay, so I can put stuff in any of these. Oh, it's empty too. These beds are all for me. Haven soldier, that goes downstairs. Anyone here? These two crowded rooms contain a small apothecary and field hospital. The woman in charge has crammed all of the supplies and beds into here that she can. On some table has been, on one stone table has been commandeered to be used for surgery. It hasn't been stained with blood yet. That time may be coming soon. Oh, there's the sage. Okay. The Roca. The Roca often called the Roa is the wild monster. Um, the stripe is happily in the past when Queen Sharon III of Haven, Mary Consort Damro, a ruler lord of the Roa, it ushered in a new age of peace and prosperity for these two peoples. Okay. Where'd you go? There you are. Sage Rita. A young energetic woman maneuvers through her tiny field hospital. She is preparing medicines and tending to the beds. She doesn't have any patients yet, but she is ready. When she looks at you for the first time, she is terrified. Odd. She soon regains her composure. Welcome, Princess. I am Sage Rita, and this is my hospital. It is small and humble, but I will be ready if and when the battles spread. So this is quite an apothecary. She smiles nervously. There is no need to flatter me. It is humble. If there is a war, I won't be able to satisfy the need. Still, I am doing all I can. What else can I have and I do? What ailments can you treat? The more common illnesses and in infections. We have a crude surgery. The local clans, if they have an accident or difficult childbirth, come to me. If there is a fall, if there is a full war, we will need so much more. And how do you get your supplies? 
She thinks a, she takes a moment to decide how to answer. There are those here who make sure I get all I ask for. A need is anticipated and they are taking a risk. Why are they taking a risk? Governor Alo doesn't want to let the Lodangi think we are preparing for war. A large field off hospital is seen as preparation. He doesn't want me to do too much, but I still have some political contacts. Do you need any help? She grins. I always need help. I am a healer of Haven. I have served in the palace itself. I will always try to build more, heal more, heal more. There are things I need I have been unable to get. However, I don't want to anger royalty. I have found how unwise a choice that can be. Mm, I can help you to supply your little hospital. I am honored. I am willing to take advantage of your good nature. Okay. So, how did you come to be assigned... Well, so far out here. The look of fear you saw on her face when you first met her returns. Before I was here, I was in Sharon's palace. She taped a deep breath. I helped in the treatment of your mother. You treated my mother? Very briefly, I gave some opinions that were unpopular. Then I was sent away, very far away. What did you say that was so bad? Saying what I said got me sent to this violent wasteland. I really don't want to be sent to a worse place. There are worse places. I am a princess. Um, I can't get honest answers about my mother. I am asking you to tell me the truth. Yes. I said that her situation was very bad and that we should not pretend otherwise. I also feel that she asked why her condition was being hidden from, well, everyone. I should have kept my mouth shut. So what is wrong with her? Alas, the doctors of Haven tend to research wounds, not diseases. We know that some sort of wasting illness is slowly crawling through her. It will cause pain, so we give her treatment for that. It will it will weaken her. Then it will kill her, or it won't. You can't tell me more? I can't. Not honestly. I have not seen her for some time, and I'm sure the illness will have advanced. If you see her and can describe her current condition to me, I can tell you more. I can't critically say, say anything else. So what are you preparing for? I prepare to heal the soldiers here. I help the nearby clans when I can. However, I am in the fort of Haven, and they, and there have been many, many more raids lately to aid to and from the Lodangi, so I prepare for war. Do you think there will be a war? I don't know. Someone tried to kill you. Every day more cow wolves are seen in the wilds. Plus, there are rumors. I don't know what will happen. It'll be up to you, I suppose. I want to prevent a war if I can. Peace is my main goal. I am glad. However, the Roka has a way of provoking even the most patient. Can I help you to stock your uh, apothecary? Well, there is a certain exotic ingredient I need. Very hard to find. But I know you have a reputation for being a hunter. I need the egg of a fire lizard. Fairly fresh. Wrapped up warm, warmly for transport. The yolk of one such egg can add effectiveness to a wide variety of medicines. Where can I get such an egg? I've heard rumors. There is an infernal cavern to the northeast. The locals call it the fire pits, uh, apropos, I suppose. This could be a valuable source of resources for Haven, should you ever be there. If you can get one such egg there in more peaceful times, we can get more. Anything special I should know? Only that the eggs don't keep for very long. If the fire lizards there are driven out, any egg they leave behind will die quickly. They will need to be fresh. Okay. Um. So. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. Um, you treated my mother. What did you say? Okay. All right, so yeah, mother is worse than we thought. Well, then we kind of been, we kind of figured. Let's put it that way. Not worse than we thought, but we figured. So I have two bedrooms up here. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and close down this episode before we go into the rest of this area, talking to more people, because it can get long and drawn out. Um, and who are you? You're talking. Ooh, minus. 
Are you positive or minus? Anyway, if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.